Hello guys and welcome back once again to Miriam's Daily Wisdom Nuggets. Thank you for coming back once again. I love you so much for always remembering to tune in to my channel. Please watch till the end to see if you like what you see on this channel. And if you do, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to stay notified every time I upload a new video. We have something very amazing as usual to discuss here on this channel. Please stay with me, don't go away. So amazing people, today we continue on our series on raising godly children. And today we are going to look at how parents embitter their children. How parents embitter their children in marriage. In the book of Colossians 3 verse 21, we are admonished not to provoke our children to anger. Somebody watching me right now may be like, how do we provoke our children to anger? How do we embitter our children? Are they not our children? How can it be possible to embitter your child? It's not possible. It's possible to embitter your child. It's not something you would like to be doing. If you are the type that embitters your children or provokes them to anger, please listen to me. You have to stop it now. And I'm going to teach you ways that we embitter our children to anger. Parents embitter their children by not disciplining them. Parents embitter their children by not disciplining them. If you do not discipline your children, you embitter them. They end up becoming bitter. They end up becoming spoiled brats. They end up becoming very manipulative. And these are some of the kids that grow up and become problems in the society. They grow up and become problems to their parents. And doing things that does not glorify God. So when you do not discipline your child, you're embittering them. You're, you're provoking them to anger. And in the long run, they are going to take out that anger on you. In the long run, they are going to hurt you. In the long run, they are going to turn their anger on you because they are going to find out that mom and dad didn't even train me well. Mom and dad didn't even discipline me. When I was doing this and that, mom never told me that it's not good. When I was doing that, when I was being naughty, when I was being a spoiled brat, mom and dad never called me to order. They are going to end up hurting you if you do not discipline them now you are ending up embittering them and causing them to become angry and bitter so please you have to desist from embittering your children discipline them now another way parents embitter their children is by using abusive words on them or using improper way of discipline on their kids when you abuse them either physically or verbally it causes your children to have an amount of hatred for you. It causes them to become bitter and angry with you. Please, if you're a parent and you're in the habit of verbally abusing your kids, some children, some people, some adults have grown up still, still replaying some abusive words in their mind, replaying abuse that their parents give you them. You don't want to repeat that on your kids. If you were abused as a parent, please, Learn love, learn how to love your children. In the long run, when you continue abusing them verbally, when you continue abusing them physically, when I'm talking about discipline, some people do it the wrong way. They abuse their children. They punch them, they hit them, they treat them as if they are their age mates, which is not very good. So if you're a parent and you're doing this, it's going to end that child becoming bitter. That child is going to end up becoming angry. That child is going to end up hating you. You're going to have your child having hatred in their heart for you. Many adults today hate their mom or their dad because they were verbally abused as children. They were verbally abused. They were physically abused. They were emotionally abused as, as children. And you find out that these people, even as adults, are embittered people. So please, if you're a parent right now, if you're doing these things I'm saying, please stop it right now so that you will not raise kids that will have hatred in their hearts for you. So that you will not raise kids that will see you tomorrow as an enemy. So that you will not raise kids that will see you that you don't love them. Please correct yourself now. It's not too late. Many adults are suffering from 
embitterment. Many adults are suffering from hatred in their hearts. Many adults don't speak to their mom and dad because they were physically, verbally, and emotionally abused. So please don't transfer it onto your children. If you're that kind of a parent that was abused, either emotionally, verbally, or physically, please seek counseling. If you've not had kids, please seek counseling so that you do not transfer that hatred onto your children. It can be passed on. Go for counseling and start treating yourself right now so that when you have kids, you do not transfer it onto them. Thank you very much. Another way parents embitter their kids is by neglecting them. These days, um, many parents are working class people. Many parents are working, they don't have time to care for their kids. The maids have now become the parents to most children nowadays. Maids have taken the place of parents. But let me tell you something, kids need your care and affection. They need your presence. When you don't show them care, when you're not always there for them, when you always neglect them, they end up becoming bitter they end up becoming bitter. Many kids that were raised by their parents behave in a different way, as opposed to kids that were raised by maids, kids that were left alone to be raised by other people. Let me tell you, kids, your children need your time. Your children need your attention. Your children want you around sometimes. Sometimes take off time from work. Sometimes, Give yourself an off week, off day, and go out with your kids, celebrate them, love them, hug them, pamper them, listen to everything they have to say. These days, many parents have neglected their children. They buy them laptops, they buy them phones, they buy them expensive gadgets just to keep them busy. But let me tell you something, your kids are not really happy. It's time for you to make out time for them. Even if you're busy, two, four, seven, seven times a week, um, sorry, seven days a week, you can make out time for them. God gave those children to you for you to give them attention, for you not to neglect them. So please, if you're a parent, you fall under this category of neglecting your children, leaving them in the hands of maids and servants at home, this also causes abuse to the children. You don't know what those people you left them to are doing to them. So please, when you leave your children for too long, when you stop paying attention to them, when you abandon them and neglect them to be on their own or with people, they end up hating you, they end up becoming embittered, they end up having bitterness in their hearts. So please, parents, take note. Even if you're busy every day, make out time once a week to be with your children, to show them love, to care about them, to pamper them, to hear them out. Thank you. Very much. Another way parents embitter their children is by not encouraging them and showing them affection. Healthy parents do not only discipline their kids, but they praise their children. They show them love when they achieve a certain task in the house. They praise them when they pass their exams. Parents, you have to praise your kids. You have to encourage them, even if they fail their exams. You have to praise them, you have to encourage them. You have to tell them, you can do better, you can do this. Don't leave any of your child feeling unloved. Don't leave any of your child feeling like, mommy doesn't love me, daddy doesn't love me. It makes them to become embittered. So please, when you need to encourage them, encourage them. When they achieve a certain thing, when they do certain things at home, when they work, when they wash the plates, when they sweep the house, when they do something very, very good and remarkable at home, please praise them and give them a reward. Buy something very nice for them and those kids are going to be very, very happy. They will be filled with love. When you show them affection, they grow closer to you. They run to you every time. They run closer to you. They want to always be around you. But when you refuse to encourage and show them affection, they grow distant from you. They feel embittered. And we don't want to embitter our children. So please take note and encourage and show them affection. Lastly, when you show favoritism among your children, when you show favoritism, when you favor one child above the others, you are creating problem in your family. You are embittering 
your children. You are embittering that child that is not favored. When you favor one child, when you're showing favoritism in your family to one particular child or two and neglect the others, you are you're encouraging sibling rivalry and these kids are going to grow up hating each other. You don't show favoritism to, are going to see those that you favor as people that are special, people that mommy and daddy love, and they are going to cause problem for you in the home. Even if you love one particular child, please do not show it out. Don't let your other children know that you love this, that particular one. Don't let your other children know that you love this particular one. Don't let them find out that you love Junior the most. Don't let them find out that you love Grace the most. Don't let them find out that you love one of your child the most. It's going to cause them to hate each other. It's going to cause them not to relate well with each other. They are going to see themselves, those that you don't favor are going to see themselves that mommy doesn't love us. We are not part of the family. We are not loved. Mommy doesn't like us. Mommy hates us. And you don't want your kids speaking like that at your back. You don't want your kids feeling left out or feeling unloved or feeling hated. Please, parents, it's time for us to stop showing favoritism. Yes, we know there is a particular child you love so much. Yes, we know there is a particular child that looks like you, that you feel like, oh, I have to favor this one. I have to show this one that I love him. But please, don't show it. Don't let the other kids find out you love one particular child. The way you love one should be the same way you should love others. This thing has caused problems in many homes. Some adults have grown up and they know that there is a particular child that is loved above the others. It causes problems. Every child should be special to their parents. Every child should be a special child. No child should be favored above the other. No child should be shown favoritism. You are only embittering your children, creating sibling rivalry, and causing your children to hate each other. If you're doing these things, you're embittering your children and creating for your children and for yourself. Hope you learned something from today's teaching. If you did and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to stay notified every time I upload a new video. Please feel free to share my videos with your friends and family. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful that you always pass by to support this channel. Love you so much. Till we see you again, it's bye from Miriam's Daily Wisdom Nuggets.